Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial of this makeup look right here. I did also go into some detail about my new foundation routine using this Sheer Coverage Foundation with Jabinus. Absolutely love this foundation and I'll explain why in the video. I also did use a new product to create this really pretty lavender glittery eye. So if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look, make sure to keep watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe for more videos before you leave and I'll see you guys in the guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now I was going to go ahead and just like do my um, foundation and brows and then start recording, but I kind of have a new foundation routine that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you've already seen me talk about this foundation. This is the Javanesque Luminous Foundation. I have the shade 07. I did also talk about this in my most recent haul video. I'm currently all about sheer foundations. This is like my absolute favorite at the moment. So what I went ahead and did is I applied it to this half of my face only. Now I know sheer coverage isn't for everybody. And to be honest, I personally have always been a full coverage girl. That's just what I've known. I grew up using MAC products. So of course, you know, their Studio Fix gets no more full coverage than that. So that's just kind of what I've always known and what I've always preferred until I'd say the last year or so. I'm like obsessed with a lighter coverage foundation. So let's talk about how this looks. My problems, my problem areas when it comes to my skin, I have a lot of redness right here in the cheeks and then I do have some dark circles. It's not anything that really bothers me though. My goals when it comes to like makeup and how my skin looks is how it looks when I'm sitting next to somebody in person, what they see when they're directly looking at my face, you know, like I don't want them to see a whole bunch of like built up products. If my redness shows, if my dark under eye shows, to me it's just like not that serious. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Now I just like to pump this on the back of my hand. I apply this with my little kabuki brush. I do start by focusing the product right here under my eye and on the tops of my cheeks. Like I said, that's where I have problem areas at. So I focus most of the product there and then just blend it out the rest of my face. I'm going to do is set most of my t-zone area using this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. My nose and then of course right here under the eye. And this to me just kind of helps finish out the finish out the foundation so it doesn't look wet you know so your skin doesn't look like oily. All right, so brows are done. I'm gonna go into my Morphe 350 palette to get my transition shades. Let's use a combo of these two. And we're just going to create some definition here. Going in with this one. And focusing this on the outer corner. And slightly blending up into the crease. It's gonna take another brush to blend that all together. All right, so the next product I'm gonna use on my eyes is this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I picked this up along with um, this shade here. I did get a couple, they have quite a few shades. Okay, so I got Peach Prism, which I've used this one in a few videos already. Um, I think on Instagram and then I got this purple one but I don't see a name on it but basically it's just one side here it has like a wand applicator for like a cream shadow and then the other side obviously you can see is glitter so we're gonna play with this guy today so I'm just gonna wipe a little bit of the excess off so I don't start with too much product and let's just go for it Just using the wand to brush this all over the lid. I'm 
it appears to be sort of sheer so I might have to um, like let the first coat dry and then go back over it so let's just not apply too much and I like to keep it sort of low because I have these folds right here in my crease and I don't want this cream shadow to kind of get stuck in the in that fold because obviously the shadow will crease and just do the other side okay so just let that dry for a sec now let's go in with the second coat So let's let that final coat dry because I think I'm just going to do the two coats. While that's drying, I'm going to go back in with my little fluffy brush here just to make sure it fades into the colors here. So while that's sitting for a second, I'm going to move on to the rest of the face just to give that some more time to dry up. So I haven't been really into wearing concealers for like my everyday makeup look. But for today, let's go ahead and apply a little bit. Gonna take shape tape and light medium. I'm gonna set under my eyes with some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I definitely don't use my loose powders to set anymore because I, I feel like it just apply it just applies more of the cakiness, which I am trying to avoid. Just because it bothers me to have my lashes totally bare, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a quick coat of Maybelline Big Shot. So next we're gonna move on to the glitter. very pretty it feels really wet so I'm trying not to like look up so I'm feeling like I somehow need to blend in this purple let's take a little bit of this For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the same dark purple shade and run this directly on the lash line. Transition colors, just sort of a mixture of the three of them. Using my Wet n Wild contour stick, this is Call Me Maple. I use this every single day. I'm gonna highlight my face using my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I'm gonna use Glow Getter and Forever Lit. I always mix my highlights, I never just use one. Oh, child.
I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. This Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. For blush, I'm gonna be using Pinch Me by MAC. For lipstick, I'm going to take NYX High Voltage Lipstick. This is in number one. Add a little gloss with Almay's Nutrients. Alright guys, so this is going to complete the makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed watching me do this makeup. I really do like how it came out. It's nice and fresh. But it's still very glam because of the glittery eye, obviously. I did keep it neutral with the nude lip. Love me a good nude. If you're new, make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.